The Tonga to Fiji is damaged. Officials say repairs may not be able to begin until the start of next month. Tongans living overseas can only wait helplessly to hear from family. The worst fear is always that you're not going to see the people that you love. Them. Um, yeah, that's the worst fear. The first victim named Tuesday, British woman Angela Glover, who moved to Tonga to set up an animal welfare charity. Her brother says she was swept away by the tsunami while trying to rescue her dogs. Angela was the heart of our family. She was the emotional heart of our family. And, I, you know, that heart is now, is now gone. And complicating an already desperate situation, the pandemic. A country which has largely protected itself from the worst of COVID now has to balance the risk of infection coming in alongside much needed humanitarian aid. Erin. Mm. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks so much to all of you for joining us around the world. AC360 starts now. Good evening. We begin tonight with breaking news. Two major developments from the House January 6th Select Committee, both suggesting it's now aiming higher and closer to the former president than ever before. First, subpoenas for three of the attorneys in his bid to overturn the election, Rudy Giuliani, Jenna Ellis, and Sidney Powell, as well as campaign advisor Boris Epstein, who was working with Giuliani at what's been called the Willard Hotel's command center. Then there's this, and it marks a serious escalation for the committee. Exclusive CNN reporting on subpoenas naming a Trump child and a possible future in-law that has already gotten results. CNN special correspondent Jimmy Gangale broke the news tonight, joins us now. So who in the pr former president's family does the subpoena involve? So Anderson, according to multiple sources, the January 6th committee has subpoenaed an